So in Ezekiel 18, God is clarifying not only his word, but that he is a very personal God who has a personal knowledge and wants a personal relationship with you and me. This is the second time a prophet has said this very thing in verse 2. Why do you quote this proverb concerning the land of Israel? The parents have eaten sour grapes, but their children's mouths pucker at the taste. The people of Israel had created this saying, meaning that if the father sinned, the kids received the judgment and punishment. Now, it's very possible that this was a misquote or misinterpretation of Deuteronomy 5, 9, and 10. I am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. You can kind of see that how they got that from that, right? But notice God said sins were visited on the children for four generations. The Hebrew interpretation of that word is accusation, not judgment. In other words, people may assume like father, like son, but the son can redeem that assumption through living righteously. Two other words that are important to define are judgment and consequences. Consequence is a natural earthly outcome from one's actions. This can be felt for generations. For instance, I just learned this week that my great-grandfather decided to move to America I now benefit from the consequences of his decision generations later. That's different than God's eternal judgment for sin. His judgment is limited to the individual who sinned. Ezekiel goes to great lengths to explain that God is a God of love. He doesn't judge people based on their last name, country, or association. He sees your actions and knows your heart. He's a very personal God. His judgment is personal, but so is his love and mercy.